Hi, my name is Laura. I'm an Elon Physical Therapy student, and I'm going to be doing a review of a case study by Kilfoyle on acetic acid iontophoresis for the treatment of insertional Achilles tendonitis. This is a case study of a 56-year-old male with intermittent heel pain for several years. It's affecting his ADLs, prolonged walking, gait cycle, um, ascending and descending stairs, and so they tried traditional therapy, which is manual therapy, ultrasound, home exercise, stretching, strengthening, all that good stuff. And um, he did have an increase in range of motion and an improved gait cycle. However, he was still having um, substantial pain. And so the therapist decided to try some iontophoresis with 4% acetic acid due to his positive radiographs of retrocalcaneal exostosis. And um, so he used 4% acetic acid at 2 milliamps for 20 minutes. Um, and so I'm going to go over that protocol real quick here. We, I have 4% acetic acid here, which is negative. So I'm going to put that on the negative, um, on the active electrode. And I'm going to put it on the insertion of the Achilles here. All right, and then for the dispersive electrode, I'm going to put it on the mid shaft of his fibula, and this will be the positive side. And since negative on negative, it'll repel and it'll shoot the um, the acetic acid to the where we want it to be. So I'm going to use a ne negative electrode here, thank you, and the positive here. And um, I have it set up already, so it's going to be 2 milliamps, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit run. And so he'll be here for about 20 minutes, um, and once the 20 minutes is over, all the medicines should be in his, in his system at the site. Um, you'll want to check for redness throughout, um, like any standard Ionto case. Um, this was used for five sessions for a duration of two weeks. And after the two weeks, he had an increase in his FAAM score, which went up from 80% to 90%. And his LEFS improved from 54 out of 80 to 74 out of 80, which is well over the MCID. And he is functionally, his pain decreased enough to where he could ascend and descend stairs without, without pain and without a rail. So he met all of his um, goals for physical therapy. He was discharged happily. And um, so that's um, the extent of the study. Um, I personally would use this in my clinic as an adjunct to regular physical therapy for um, if I had positive radiographs because acetic acid and this study has proved to be to help with pain. It's quick and has little adverse events and um, I would hope to see as good of an outcome for my patients. Thank you.